So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. Stay tuned to the end to find out how you can be one of three lucky winners to get your hands on an Ash Blossom and Joyous Springs. So watch the video, enjoy, and catch you at the end, guys. What's it, YouTube? Dire Heavens F4 Games, bringing you the opening of probably one of the best structure decks ever, and that is Soul Burner. Underneath as well, you can see the beautiful rubber. That's right, rubber Salaman Great Mat that you can get at your locals this weekend by entering one of the special um, Soul Burner structure deck release events. All you have to do is you pay about £10 depending on your locals, you'll get a structure deck as well, uh, and then you play out and the winner gets the mat. I believe there is also another mat raffled off to a lucky participant as well. Now, onto the structure deck. These are retailing at around £10 as most structure decks do, and the reason this is probably one of the best is because Salaman Greats are number one. Very, very powerful. Got a lot of combo base. They have very, very good cards. Um, and they do very, very well in the OCG. Secondly, everything you need within the deck is budget. You can pick up three of these and be good to go. But then if you add in Sunlight Wolf, which we will be doing in a deck profile for you guys tomorrow, um, you add in Sunlight Wolf, which is a rare in Savage Strike, a couple of quid each, the deck then goes to its next level. If you do we'll have to add a little bit of money into it, the only thing you're going to be looking into is Lady Debug. But again, if you look at the right place, you might be able to find some of the structure decks that Lady Debug came in for about five to seven pounds, so do not overpay for those themselves. So, if that wasn't enough, Konami have also reprinted one of the best hand traps in the game, and that is Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. It is now a common for all of you guys to get. We all know that it was hard enough to get as a secret, let alone the ultra reprint or the super reprint. Now you have a common reprint that is no excuse not to have an Ash Blossom. Those of you that are buying the Salaman Greats for the Salaman Greats will have spare Ash Blossoms if you already have them, so they should be a lot more easier to come by. That being said, there are some other really, really cool reprints in this deck, uh, and all you really need to do outside this deck um, to get a little bit extra is to, of course, um, get hold of Sunlight Wolf is the main kind of one that you want to get, and then if you do manage to get hold of, of course, um, Lady Debugs as well. Now, inside the structure box, you do get the paper version of the rubber mat that you see below. There we go, along with a beginner's guide, uh, a bit of a structure guide. Uh, there you go, that's the other one. That's the one that Lady Debug comes in, Power Code Link. So if you find one of those around at your locals that have just been left over of stock, pick them up relatively cheaply. And then of course you've got your beginner's guide, uh, straightforward on that one, kind of combos uh, and how to play the game in general. And then of course you get the most important thing, and that is your Salaman Great Deck. And now, the Salaman Great deck, more reasons as to why this is probably one of the best structure decks around, is I believe there are five hollows in this set as well, or in this deck. So we're going to crack this open nice and gently, not to damage any of the cards. And we start off with the first ultra of the deck, and that is, of course, Salaman Great Heat Leo. Very, very powerful card, very, very useful in Salaman Greats, and this is kind of your end board player. You've then got Salaman Great... Um, Mirage Stalio. Again, I love the artwork on this. I think it looks absolutely amazing, and I'm so glad that this is one of the ultras. And of course, to complete, I'm just going to move that over to the left, and we're going to put this one on the right. We have Salaman Great Bellinx. I believe I've probably butchered that name. This is your link one. This is one you loop around a couple of times, but again, very, very nice to get that as an ultra. And as you can see on the map when we zoom out again, of course, you've got Stalio, Leo, and the Bellatrix right there. Bellinx. Bailey Nix. Oh, I'm going to keep realising this. I'm not going to keep going. Uh, then, of course, you've got your Salaman Great Gazelle, your Salaman Great Spiny, Salaman Great Circle, and Salaman Great Raw. Now, these are all the brand new cards for the Salaman Great deck, and they are all incredibly powerful. I will quickly take you through these hollows as we go. So, we start off with Heat Leo. Heat Leo is two fire effect monsters. If this card is linked, summon you to one card in your opponent's spell trap card zone. Shuffle it into the deck. Once per turn, during your main phase, if this card was linked, summoned using Salaman Great Heat Leo as material, you can target one face-up monster on the field and one monster in your graveyard. The attack of the first target becomes equal to the other's target until the end of this turn. And then we've got uh, Mirage Stalio. 
Two, level three monsters, is nice and generic. Detach one material from this card, special summon one Salaman Great Monster from your deck in defense position. Also, you cannot activate monster effects for the rest of the turn, except fire monsters. If this XYZ card, uh, summon card is in the graveyard, uh, sorry, if this XYZ summoned card is sent to the graveyard as material for the link summon of a Salaman Great Monster, take one monster on the field, return it to the hand. Only use the effect once per turn. Balinix, um, one level four or lower Cyverse monster. If this card is linked summoned, you can add one Salaman Great Sanctuary from your deck to your hand. If Salaman Great cards you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from the graveyard instead. Very, very cool. Salaman Great Roar, this is a busted card. When a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated, while you control a Salaman Great Link monster, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. While this card is in your graveyard, if a Salaman Great Link monster is linked summoned to the field, using a monster with its same name as material, you can set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. So basically, you have six counter traps in your deck that you aren't going to be doing a lot, um, paying a lot of cost for. We've then got Salaman Great Circle. Activate one of these effects. Add one Salaman Great Monster from your deck to your hand. Tiger one Salaman Great Link Monster you control that was linked summoned using a monster with its same name as material. That Link Monster is unaffected by monster effects this turn, except its own. Salaman Great Gazelle. If a Salaman Great Monster is sent to the graveyard except itself, um, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, send one Salaman Great card from your deck to the graveyard except itself. Only use each effect once per turn. And then Salaman Great Spiny. If you control a Salaman Great card, discard this card. Then target one face-up monster on the field. It gains 500 attack until the end of this turn. If you control a Salaman Great monster other than Spiny, and this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Now, what you've got to remember this is if you use Spiny as overlay material for your um, Mirage Stalio, this isn't going to go to the banish zone. It is going to go back to your graveyard. So it's very, very nice uh, recurrence on that one. We've then got Salaman Great Raccoon. Again, I'm not going to go through all the effects on these, only the foils for now, but you can just see the amount of Salaman Great new cards that we get in here. So you've got Mole, you've got Fowl, you've got Be Beast, Bison. Mir is obviously a reprint, so is Fox and Falco, Jack Jaguar, Wolvie, Paro, Foxer. All reprints from the previous sets, but it's nice that we've got them all in one. We get a nice reprint of True King of Agamazood. We've got Dor uh, Dorgoran, the Mad Flame Kaiju. Flame uh, Veal Fire Drop, Fire Dog. Ugh. Fencing Fire Ferret. Oh my god, they love the S in this. Inferno, and of course, the most important reprint of all, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. And now you've got to keep very, very good attention to this card because it's going to come to our giveaway towards the end. Red Resonator, Volcanic Shell, Volcanic Shell. Four Mid Skipper. Uh, sorry, Four Mud Skipper. During your main phase, you can reveal one Link Monster in your extra deck, and if you do, when you Link Summon this turn, you can treat this card as Link Material with the same name, type, and attribute as the pursuit of Revealed Monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard as Link Material, you can add one level 5 or higher Cyverse Monster from your deck to your hand. It'd be really, really cool if this actually took the Link right in. That'd be insane. Uh, Salaman Great Claw. Salaman Gate Sanctuary. Will of Salaman Great. Monster Reincarnation. Circle of the Fire King. Trans Modify. Nice reprint in that one. Link Bound, Magic Planner, Salomon Great Rage, Salomon Great Grift, The Transmigration Prophecy, Threatening Roar, Break Off Trap Hole, Backfire, Goes and Match, very, very nice reprint on that one. Heat Leo, there we go, another nice reprint on that one. Flame Administrator, and Do Little Chimera. And then the last one, of course, is this card that you can use as a token if you wish. So, this is a very, very good deck. Not only is it powerful, but it does give you some very, very much needed reprints of some of the cards like Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. And like I said, it is a very, very great deck to kind of play around with. Uh, so everyone should be able to pick one of these up nice and cheaply and have a go with them. So guys, as we mentioned at the start of the video, we are giving away to three lucky winners and Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. It is very, very simple to enter. All you have to do is follow us on Facebook, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and of course, put down in the comments below what you love about Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, it is Valentine's Day after all. We might as well see what you love about Yu-Gi-Oh. Is it the different types of attributes? Is it the names? Some names just make them funny. Some names you think are really, really nice. Is it the artwork? Trust me, some of the artwork is amazing. Is it some of the effects? I mean, let's be honest, there are some kooky effects out there on certain cards, and then there are some really, really powerful cards as well. Doesn't matter what you like about it, just tell us what you love about Yu-Gi-Oh. We are all for it. 
So, simple as that, all you have to do is put that in the comments below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, give it a big thumbs up guys, uh, and then of course follow us on Facebook so you don't miss out on anything. It's very, very simple to enter, very, very simple to win. Um, and just do all of those steps, and by all means, we will then announce the winners at some point next week. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and as always, guys, happy dueling. What's up, YouTube? Dad here from Zephyr Wall Games. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please hit that big thumbs up button in the bottom corner as well. And don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Make sure you click that notification bell as well so you know every time one of our new videos goes up. Throughout the whole year of 2019, we're going to have more deck profiles, duels, and of course, pack openings for you guys to watch and enjoy the entire year round. So stay tuned for more. And as always, guys, happy dueling.